Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren and in today's video I'll be trying out the skincare set from this brand I found on Instagram called Ava Estelle. Before we get into the video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe because I really appreciate it and it really helps out my channel. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright guys, so like I've already said, I'll be trying out the Ava Estelle skincare brand. Um, first and foremost, I want to say kudos to them because when I purchased my bundle, which is the holiday mega bundle that I purchased the day before Christmas Eve, I purchased this with um, $12 shipping to get it express shipped to me, which I think would have been like three to four days. But you guys, I kid you not, I got my package the next day. So Christmas Eve morning, I got my package. I don't know if their base is located in Georgia or something or if they're close by, but um, I really do like their shipping time. So if these products end up working definitely gonna get the express shipping um, but first and foremost I want to first let you guys know how much I spent on everything because I purchased their holiday mega bundle which I think came with all of their products that they had available skincare facial care and I think they have a hair oil and a hair mist but I will not be using those just due to the whole fiasco that happened with me and using the Baskin lather products I'm just holding off on trying new crazy things on my hair but yeah, anyways, let's go over how much everything was and try out these products. So um, I paid a total for the bundle. It was $132 to start, but then I think I had a 15% off discount, which lowered it to $128. Um, and that was with the $12 shipping to get it here overnight. So that's pretty good. I got all of their products. Um, I will be focusing on the facial care products, but the body products that did come in the bundle were the Ava Stell Winter Body Cream, it was the Magic's Cream, which is, what is this for? It was their Magic's Cream. I think it's for like your under eyes. Yeah, I think this is for your under eyes or just for your skin in general. I'm not sure. And then it also came with the Activating Body Scrub. One of the reasons I mainly purchased uh, from this brand is because I noticed on their Instagram and just from other testimonials that I saw on YouTube and Instagram from other people was that it was really good at getting rid of dark marks and just keeping acne under control. And I think I've mentioned this before on my channel. I can't remember in what videos, but I usually have breakouts around this area and on my forehead. And then on each side of my forehead, I have these weird dark marks that have just always been there. I've been trying to get rid of them and they're just always there so I want to try out these products to see if they can get rid of the dark marks not only on my face but like on my chest and then I have dark marks on my shoulder I'm not sure if you can see them but they're just on my shoulder they kind of look like freckles depending on how you look at them but yeah, I want to see if I can't clear up the dark marks on my face and skin just because, you know, I am a model and I just think it would be a lot easier too for my career if my skin was even more, was even more clear than it already is. Because I do have to say, I do know I already have clear skin. I just want even clearer skin, I should say. So let's start going over these facial products that I have here. So step one, number one, is the Mycelia Cleanser. It's oil infused. So this is what it looks like. I think I've only ever used one type of like Mycelia water. It's the, I think, Garnier water that you can get at Walmart. So this will be cool. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. So this is what it looks like. Yep. And so it just says shake well, pump a few drops onto a clean cotton pad, use silk cotton pad and wipe the desired area and then you repeat two to three times if needed. So that's nice. And let me see. Oh, you can use it to remove makeup and dirt and oils clogging your face. So that's nice. And then step two is the Ava Stell Manuka Honey Face Mask. Uh, the ingredients in this is Manuka Honey, Clover Honey, Cucumber Extract, Aloe Vera, and Tea Tree Extract. And then you use it with the spatula that came in the box, which is really nice. It comes with a spatula. And you apply a few spatulas on the face, leave on for 10 minutes, then wash off with our foaming face cleanser, which is this right here. 
and with the foaming flakes cleanser sorry it has water aloe vera decil glucoside sorry if i'm butchering that cucumber extract preservative eco sweet orange extract which is naturally derived and then it does say it is advisable to patch test this, so I'm going to patch test this. The ingredients in this, the micellar water is water, sunflower oil, jojoba oil, lemon essential oil, cocoa betaine, peppermint floral water, vegetable glycerin, cucumber extract, preservative eco, lactic acid, naturally derived to balance pH, all right? And, oh, it's made in the UK. Okay, wow, and it got to me quick. Got to me here in the next day, so kudos to them. All right, and so the next step three is the Ava Stell Activating Face Scrub, and this has brown sugar, calen calendula oil, kaolin clay, deco glucoside, vitamin E oil, sweet orange extract, and preservative eco, and it says to dampen the hand with warm water, apply a small amount to the face and rub in circular motions, leave on for two minutes, wash off with our foaming face cleanser, and it is advisable to do a patch test so I get to sniff it too. Ooh, oh my God. Well, first off, it smells really good. It just looks weird in the packaging. It, it's definitely has sugar in it. I don't know, what's that um, What's that thing called triphobia, triophobia, where you don't like little circles and stuff looking at you? It looks like an ant's nest, it's creepy. This is what it looks like in the packaging. Oh, ugh, ew, it looks like dirt. <laughs> but I'm gonna try it out and as I use it, I'm definitely gonna smoothen it out because I just don't like the way that looks. It just looks like ants are gonna start crawling out at me. And then, oh, with these products, it is advisable for it to be left in a cool area. And I would say, especially for this sugar one, definitely leave it in a cool area. And then we have the night cream here. This has water, oat kernel extract, sunflower oil, aloe vera, shea butter, satyral alcohol, Cetyl alcohol, stearic acid, glycerin argan oil, lemon peel extract, bearberry extract, vanilla extract, lavender extract, glycerol, stearate, cocoa glucosides, vitamin E oil, and a sodium phytate. And I guess I'm going to go ahead now and just try using out using all of the products and then I'll come back and let you guys know how it felt on my skin. I'm just going to go and use all of them. So I'm going to start off with the I'm starting with the micellar water, then I go to use the Manuka Face Honey Mask, then I'll use the activating scrub, then the foaming cleanser in between the face mask and scrub, and then finish it with the night cream, and then I'll be right back with you guys to let you know how my skin felt after using each product. All right, you guys, so I'm doing a quick check-in. I just finished doing the first two steps, which was the micellar water first off. This did not feel drying on my skin at all. It actually kind of made me feel really refreshed, and it felt nice. And um, at the time when I put it on, my skin kind of felt like a little glowy. So that was really, really cool. Um, I now have on the Manuka Honey Face Mask. One issue I have with this is because it was solid upon trying to use a spatula to put it on my skin so I ended up having to use my finger and as I started scooping it out and just like dragging it on my skin it started to get a act like a really honey like texture if you see it on my skin right now it looks very sticky but I can say it smells really nice it smells like honey this is what it looks like in the pan and if you see that shiny bit in between the dull portion that's where I dug my finger into it to get the mask out but I mean other than it being a little tough to put on I mean hopefully it's not as tough to take off but so far it's not that bad I don't have a whole bunch of complaints one thing though, um, they are definitely right, you gotta store this in a cool environment. I definitely think with this mask, you would have to make sure you don't get too much of the facial mask on the outside just because I could definitely see someone getting ants. 
with this particular mask because it, it's straight up honey. So I'm going to go ahead now. I think I have a couple minutes left with the mask on my face. Then I'll wash it off and then I'll use the activating facial scrub. And um, in between both of those, I'm going to be scrubbing it off with the foaming face, foaming face cleanser. I'll be using the foaming face cleanser. And then we'll finish it with the night cream and I'll be right back to you guys afterwards. All right guys, so I have just come back from the bathroom doing steps two through th four, I believe. Yeah, steps two through four, which was the honey mask, the activating face scrub, and then washing it all off with the foaming cleanser, just to reiterate for myself really. But right now, after using all three steps, while it is a little bit drying, my skin feels so smooth. So that's an added bonus. Like I've just never felt my skin feel this smooth after using any products. So I like that effect. And now I'm going to put on the night cream. I think. I'll use this much of it right here and let's see how it goes on. I'll drag up. Oh yeah, that's more than enough. And put it on my face. So this is what my skin looks like now after using all of these products and I must say I'm pleasantly surprised I hope this actually works for me even though the full kit of all of these products was a little pricey and even though my skin did feel a little dry after using steps one through four it felt so soft and bouncy and I really, really liked it. I think in the next video I do of this, I'm definitely going to try to record me just using all the products at the sink. I tried doing it for this video, but I get, but I kept getting so much water on my camera because it was splashing out of the sink that I, I just stopped. I just stopped doing it. But you guys trust when I say I use the product. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I'm not sure if my skin looks any different to you guys, but it definitely feels different to me. And even right here it's not as gritty as it usually is I'm not sure if it's because of the amount of oil or whiteheads that's usually around this part of my skin but it just feels so smooth my skin has never felt like this smooth and boingy before so I really like this so for the time being being as it is my first use of these products I kind of like it. I can even look past how sticky the honey face mask was because it feels really really nice after using everything together. So as an initial review I give this an 8 out of 10. I'm going to be using these products every day so I'm not sure if I'm going to do a weekly check-in or like um, a two-week check-in on these products but the next time I do a check-in with you guys using these products I'm definitely going to try to film at the sink. I'm going to see if I can't prop up my phone. The only reason I didn't do it this time was because my phone was dead and that's my fault but yeah for the initial review starting these products I like it I like it a lot and it smells really really nice too I really like the scent of this nice of this night cream so with all that being said that is my review of the facial items I'm going to try out these body care items but I just don't want the video to be too too long um, but yeah as of right now my facial care items I really like this hopefully these work for me and they help clear up my dark marks so that I have an actual face routine this time around just because when I watch YouTube I see all these other girls with these awesome skincare routines I'm like I want something that works for me too and I can be like oh yeah I've got skincare going on but anyways i think this is the end of today's video please tell me what you guys think if you guys have ever used ava estelle because i'm in it for the long haul or at least until it stops agreeing with my skin but with all that being said i will see you guys in the next video please remember to like comment and subscribe because i really appreciate it and it really helps out my channel but i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys